Many parents still struggling to find baby formula. Some store shelves remain empty. CBS 2's Nick Calloway talked with parents and soon-to-be moms about the formula shortage. Danae Prevel Sobers is excited to be expecting her second child next spring, but there are fears too. It's Monday. terrifying. <laughs> yeah. We caught up with Danae as she was food shopping in Bloomfield, New Jersey. The ongoing baby formula shortage leaves her with no shortage of nerves. Everywhere you go to Walmart, you go to CVS, you go to ShopRite, you go everywhere. Corner stores are out. It's like I have to start looking early, like from now, and I'm due all the way in May. Up the road in Passaic, Mirla Crusetta said she sometimes spends weeks looking for the right formula for her baby. She usually finds an empty shelf instead. Me siento super mal porque a veces no tengo que darle. She said she feels very bad because she might not have enough food to give her daughter. Experts say the shelves are less bare now than they were in the peak of this shortage in May, but we are still in crisis. The Abbott plant in Michigan, where 40% of the country's formula is made, was shut down due to a recall. Rudolf Leuschner is an associate professor of supply chain management at Rutgers Business School. He likens that plant shutdown to draining 40% of the water from a river. It came back online, and they're producing it again. But again, you have to start filling up that river with water, so it's not going to be like, oh, okay. We start producing, everybody's happy, everybody can find everything. It's going to take just as long as it took to wind down, if not longer. And the professor predicts a slow and painful recovery from this shortage, saying it could take several more months to return to normalcy on the formula aisle. In Bloomfield, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And the FDA did acknowledge last week its response to the formula shortage was delayed.